Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another video on a game called Evolution. Not really a game, more of a neural network simulation game. Pretty cool. Uh, you guys have some really, really good suggestions in the last video. Uh, one of the main things that you guys are saying is to let it generate and let it generate for longer and that you can't get it to work at zero and all sorts of things. You can kind of tell, like once you go through a certain amount of generations, if it doesn't work at 10 sometimes it's not going to work at 20 and if you let it run at 20 and it's not changing from 10 to 20 it's not really going to do anything at 30. So um, like I'm trying to do the best I can to make these interesting videos on trying interesting designs and things you guys have suggested but I'm not going to spend six hours to let something generate 1500 times so we can get something a little more noticeable like this one like nothing much is happening now and if I do let it go for another 20 minutes trying to generate it's probably still not gonna work. But there were some good suggestions about things that might work. And I wanted to try out like one or two of them uh, to begin the video with. The first one was create Ys in here and then use that to support muscles. So if I connect all of these with like Ys, then it's gonna be a little bit stronger. But the question is, where do you connect the muscles? Like ideally you want these little feet to work, but I think the feet might even be too long. So if we shorten up the feet to be like a little caterpillar, I don't know, we'll we'll just try it. I don't think it'll work. Yeah, I figured it would collapse on itself because it has no muscle structure to hold the bones up. Like if you let a skeleton drop, it would just go plop. Even if it did have toes that had little muscles on them, the skeleton would still drop. And if I let it generate 30 times, it's still gonna just flop straight on the floor, just blarp, because it has no muscle, so it's not gonna work. So let's add a few muscles and see how this works. Oh, some of them, hey, they're kind of rolling. Uh, oh, they're, some of them are rolling forward. Hey, that's not bad on the first generation. But after 10 generations, we can still tell that it's not doing too much. You can kind of tell how uh, a creature is going to do if it all kind of creates like the same thing. Like everything kind of looks the same. It does the same uh, movements for the first 10 or 5 or 8 seconds of the thing. And then it tries to innovate. So it's not really innovating anymore. It's not learning anything more. It's just trying to optimize what it has. So I thought we would try just making the ball without the feet and see if it can learn anything on this. Because I think sometimes the feet get in the way without trying to move it. Oh yeah, look at that one on the right. It's jumping away. That's perfect. That's what we want. So I find this pretty interesting. Our wheel has decided to no longer become a wheel and more of a bouncing thing. I let it run 50 generations. It, it's not rotating at all. Uh, it seems that hopping has done the best for it. <laughs> watch, watch the group as they go together. Bloink and bloink and bloink. I love it. I could still probably learn quite a bit since there's a lot of uh, a lot of distance between these things, but I think uh, it it's enough of playing with this one. What I wanted to do today, oh, you know what? We can save that as the bouncing wheel. Save. The bouncing wheel is ready to go. So I wanted to try something. We have, there's the root, there's the spring, right? The spring. I mean, just the typical, wait, we don't want, we want jumping. What I wanted to do today was try to create an animal that actually jumps. Well, these guys are easy. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to try to create like a fish. I thought it'd be funny to make like a, maybe a shark, a jumping shark. Cause there's the old adage of a don't jump the shark. I think there's something like that. Yeah, I just looked it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> it literally means like to uh, do something after it's past the peak, like trying to promote something after it's past the peak. So I thought it was kind of funny uh, to do that on YouTube since you never know when the peak or decline is. And you know what, let's just try it. These things are jumping pretty well. You can see how the springs work. There's also the kangaroos, the other. What I wanted to do is try to create something that jumps straight up in the air. There's the hailer, we've got the roo. Okay, it's a roo. We got the creepy spider thing, um, and then the creature, what we can create ourselves. So we make something like this, and we connect all of this together. I think we can create kind of a really, really cool looking spring. If not, I'm not sure, but we need to make the muscles in between these things then, right? And then it should just bounce straight up in the air, I hope, if I've done everything right. Let's try it. Okay, it's a little bit not as smart as I was thinking. What did I, I put it on jumping. Okay, so it maybe needs better springs. What happens if I connect? Wow, that's the wrong thing. There, I'll make it a little bit bigger so it has a little bit more muscle mass in here. Kind of wanted the muscles to be more towards the middle, but I think this will work out okay. So evolve it. There we go. So it's trying to it's trying to learn how to jump now. I think in a couple turns it'll figure it out. It's starting to learn how to jump really high, but that's, that's about it. Um, not consistent jumps either. I think if I were to remove maybe this bottom system, uh, then it might have something to stand on. Also, if we put in muscles, on these it might work better as a spring so let's just see right away what it does it still topples over 
I think it'll fix itself on toppling over. I don't know. Uh, maybe it won't. <laughs> we'll have to see here in a second. Okay, this is kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, pow, and pow. It just keeps slapping itself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> it just does it over and over again. So it doesn't really have the, the strength to bounce up and continuously bounce. I think that might be because it's a little bit too wide. So I'm just making something a little bit longer here and then connecting the muscles to make it jump. So if we do this on both sides here and then we can connect these up, I think this will probably work a little bit better. We'll try something like that. Evolve that. It's not gonna jump. Oh, I thought, I w yeah, we want a running. Okay, population, let's go up to 50. and see, cause it's a little bit easier. Sometimes these work. Doesn't look like it has a method of transportation. It can get itself up a little bit higher, but it can't work. So let's add on a bone onto here and a muscle that attaches up here and maybe up here. We evolve that, that maybe that front part will help it walk. Yeah, it's starting to move. <laughs> it's inching. You can see down here in the bottom right, it's inching. So that's actually kind of cool. It's kind of a proof of concept that having something on the front can do that. So what happens if we add another one back here, maybe? Let's go forward. Now, if you were wondering, I did want this to look like a shark. I just wanted to see the different iterations of it. Okay, so attach there, attach there, 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 and in. Maybe it looks more like a tuna fish. Now, I don't think it has any uh, momentum. Whoa, it bounces. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's bouncing. <laughs> that's awesome. Go tuna fish, shark man. You can do it. Oh, that's great. We got to look at one at a time. This is hilarious. Blurp. Blurp. <laughs> this is how, this is the evolution from fish to land animal. Now they just need lungs and stuff. That's hilarious. <laughs> he, needs, he needs fins now. He needs fins. Let's do, let's do bone. Let's do a fin. Oh, I gotta, I can get this. That might be a little bit too tall, huh? Yeah, that's a little bit too big. Let's drop you down a little. There. Oh, that looks, that looks pretty good. Let's change the grid off and just adjust this a little bit. Oh, dirty. That's great. Now, I think that fin's just gonna kind of flop. Whoa, the fin, the fin has caused problems. <laughs> let's try this. He's got, he's got his face up here. Maybe you need to move this back. Just a little bit. Now, I should probably put a little mound up there too, but I don't know what's gonna happen with this first foot. Uh, might be a little bit too much. Okay, it's starting to get good. The shark is starting to learn how to go. Ooh, some of them are, whoa, whoa, what's going on there? Okay, yes, some of them are really start. Whoa, <laughs> did you see that one explode? Oh, they're starting to wander. They're starting to make it on land, Wee! That one was good, we got a jumping shark. I'm thinking maybe I need to attach the middle parts of its body to itself a little better. <laughs> Let's see how one of them looks. Oh man, hey, that would jump pretty good. <laughs> and it tipped over backwards. Oh, these sharks are so dumb. Yeah, this this front thing isn't working right. Let's stop this, because we did we did decent. I mean, everything's kind of dumbed out, and it looks, whoa, that <laughs> one just jumped. I know it's not long enough, but I wanted to do a couple changes like this. It looks pretty good for a shark. Let's see what he does. Uh-oh. Nothing's moving. Well, level one, it doesn't matter. First generation's always kind of bad. It seems as if more muscles have made him worse. It's just, they flopped on the ground. It's like a fish out of water right now. So we're up to 30 generations now. Um, our shark is is swimming, kind of. <laughs> the, the best one, they, they kind of move. Oh, oh man, that one got so small. But look at the one up here. <laughs> they're kind of walking, they're kind of grouping. Uh, I don't think it's working too well. I really don't. I mean, it's it's functioning, but not as I wanted it to. You can see that this bottom fin doesn't really do anything. The fins don't do much. We did have that tuna fish that worked pretty well just a little bit ago. <laughs> they get stuck on the nose. At least the mouth is keeping shape. Uh, that's one of the goals that I had. But yeah, this guy is just a little bit too much of a tiger shark for my liking. I'm not sure how to best fix him either. I think too many muscles hurts. I know that for sure. So I'm thinking maybe delete all of these and create like vertical muscles. More like this, I guess. Where it would it would group up the bottom side and then it would pull the bottom up. So let's try that out for a little bit. Ooh, hey, the first generation likes to bounce. I guess that's good. Some of these are going forward too. Hey, this might work. This dude's just chilling. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh. And I will become the best fish ever. Oh, this is things of nightmares right here. <laughs> hey, it's they're working. This is gonna work. Maybe. 
I don't, maybe not. <laughs> look, at, look at the upside down fin. Oh, this is hilarious. I love it. Okay, we're about 19, 20 generations in. We can see he's trying to jump until it falls forward, which tells me that we're pulling too far forward and it's tipping down to the front. If I can maybe move this bottom fin forward up into that area, uh, let's try doing that. I think if I just do the move tool and move you forward just a little bit, all of you, then I think it'll pull back more and then it should tip back. Also, maybe I want to delete that one and just put a bone up to that face. Let's try that out. Okay, I think we're getting close to something. Level 25, generation 25. I could keep this running. It's working. It's working as I want it to. It's pulling forward and then it's pushing itself up. What I don't like is this back part. I feel like I could make this little back tail a little bit longer. Also attaching this little member here, the tail back onto maybe that point might assist it a little bit. So I'm just gonna move this uh, out a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, and we're gonna add a muscle from here to here. I think this will work pretty good. Now I do have it on running. I wanted it on jumping, but I think this will work good after about 25 generations. Here we go. Number 30, <laughs> it's working. The shark is jumping. Now I'm still thinking there's a few problems that I still think this back leg back thing, I guess it could be a leg. I think it's a little bit too heavy now. Uh, I do like the tail because this is giving all the momentum with that pulling down. So it's getting a lot going forward. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna try one more attempt. Whoop, it just tripped. <laughs> it just tripped and fell on his nose. Oh, that one tipped over at the end. <laughs> I was trying to jump backwards now. No way. Oh, that was cool. So let us do move these things back just a little bit the way they were. We don't need it too big. I'm also thinking the tail maybe changing the size of it up a little bit. It's really neat. Like once you start getting in the meat and potatoes of this game, trying to figure it out. Whoa, uh, it's really cool how it works. Now you can, if you start it off with a higher population, you want to go like as high population as your computer can handle. And that, that actually that seems pretty good. Um, recording while playing this on a high end PC does uh does take a little bit of a hit but i think it's all right 36 generations in and i think this is the best one yet he's actively bouncing along the floor he's doing a really good job our shark has learned to walk <laughs> i'm gonna let it run for quite a long time here and uh i'll come back to it in a little bit actually and go afk get some other work done away from the computer and I want to see how it goes uh, in about I don't know however long it takes let's also bump this time difference up let's go like uh, 20 seconds it'll generate twice as much and we'll see how it goes here in a little bit all right generation 88 it looks like you can calculate the amount of time that I've been AFK but it's working our shark is jumping he's kind of running I don't know how you would best describe it but it's working we finally have a creation that manages to go in this game after our failed attempts at humans and the living sphere, <laughs> but I like it. But this thing's really, really cool. Uh, I'll show you the rest of them too, because they're all kind of doing the same thing. Wait, except for the one in the back. Let's move forward a little. Hey, there we go. <laughs> See, the majority of the 40, is it, that we put together, they're all kind of walking at the same. So I feel like we've done pretty well. Ooh, some of them are getting way ahead. We've done pretty well generating a very good little critter today. Uh, if you do want to see something specific, yeah, a specific animal that you want me to create, let me know down below in the comments section. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.